fight. It was quite remarkable. That's why they're here today. But you do feel amongst the fans, and Andy was pointing out to me before we came on the air, particularly the Manchester United fans, that they are ready to go. And this is, in their mind, part of the real thing. Run by, by, by coasting in games like this. And there's a little example of what I mean. Season, the winner at Old Trafford in the middle of March. Miles targeted by Neville in the wrong way. Here is Mark Overmars. The work that the Manchester United medical department have done. It's Overmars with the shot to get team back into the thick of things. There was some suggestion he might be rushed back at the end. And Elka, Overmars. Fair chance of the dollar if he wants some good weather. It's when the football starts again. <laughs> Overmars against his fellow countryman, Yap Star. Who oh, yeah. did well to get played on David's mind when Ben Hoddle was looking for penalty takers in St Etienne and he didn't volunteer to take them. Overmars, team caught up with him. That's brilliant play from Roy Keane, Mark, because Gary Neville actually shouldn't have jumped in down the touchline on Mark Overmars. And having done that, Keane spotted there was a gap there. Arsenal tried to release him. And that's something they were missing. Overmars. And a chance to play it to Parler, who's through the centre, not on the right-hand side. That somehow. So all round, it seems a, a good decision. Vieira. Both for Anelka and Bergkamp going for this. Bergkamp's back here. Anelka still there. It might come for Overmars! Well, Mark Overmars does it to Manchester United again. After 33 minutes. That's a lovely finish. Absolute beauty. Not his strongest side. But this is all down to the run again of Bergkamp and Anelka. I thought he had a chance once in the end, but he just lost his footing. Full match to Anelka, Martin. He didn't give it up. He wasn't giving Johnson an easy ride here, just as it's back here, you think, well, he's got it under control. But he did enough on Elka to stop the clearance, and from there, that was an exquisite finish. Well, Absolutely exquisite. A went 16 goals last season, and he started where he's left off. Mark Overmars. Lovely finish, as you say, Mark, he has to back away from goal, but then he's guiding it more than just driving it. That's a controlled strike. It isn't just a blast, he just controls it. He knows where he wants to put it, exactly where it ended up. Well, I'm sure you would say that over the last couple of years that's got better. Phenomenal, so that wasn't one of those examples. Spotted by Graham Paul. Mark Overmars, a thorn in Manchester United's side again. Beckham. All read by Manu Petit. And here goes Overmars. Overmars in behind Gary Neville. Stam's got to go across and try and deal with the threat of Overmars again. And he does uh, get in the way of the attempted shot from the Arsenal goal scorer. Let's get a word from our reporter on the uh, far side, George Gavin. George. From Poland on Wednesday. Overmars. Field outright since 1953 when they beat Blackpool, who qualified, of course, through the Stanley Matthews Cup final here. Overmars, oh, and Christopher Ray put in by Anelka. Back to Ray again. 2 0. The wonderful run, even more. And then just picks the pass out. Stuck Ted Stam, stuck Ted Jonsson. Dennis Irwin's up there. Gigs get their numbers back and they're helped by Alfred's crossfield pass which made Overmars check back. It's emphasised by the scoreline. Overmars, Holt, and Gary Neville. I didn't expect 
to have uh, further trouble with the referee. It's a shield, but in a championship game, having already booked, I think he's going to be troubled with Overmars maybe for much longer. But it is Mark Overmars who's going to be taken off. Well, he scored one and he's been involved in the second. As you look at the pictures, listen to the reception for Mark Overmars. Never shows too much emotion. 